Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict. Now, a few months back, Bob Lazar had the pleasure of being interviewed by Joe Rogan, and Jeremy Corbell was there as well. Now, I predicted this about a month before that, and I'll show you a little clip of that now. Share this video, because this needs to happen. Bob Lazar needs to be interviewed by Joe Rogan. I'll tell you why, guys, in a second. I'm just going to go for a wee. Now, you may ask yourself this, how on earth does Alien Addict predict that Joe Rogan will interview Bob Lazar? Well, let me tell you people, Astra Projection. Yes, I was on my couch back there, my children was in this cage, I was in my zone and I transported myself into Joe Rogan's beautiful physique. I was stroking some sort of animal next to me because I could feel the fur on it. And also, my other hand was stroking something very smooth that went furry as I went further up. I don't know what that was exactly. But I was watching Jeremy Corbell, Area 51 and Flying Saucers, on Joe Rogan's humongous TV, Bob Lazar, Area 51 and Flying Saucers, should I say. And it just hit me then. Bob will go on Joe Rogan. And this is exactly the same way that I've came to this other prediction, people. Now, before I get into the meat and potatoes, one minute. Yes, before I go any further, I would like to say a massive thank you to Leonard and Tony, the first Patreons of my channel. YouTube may not be around forever, and, you know, I need to find probably another platform if it all goes tits up, but Patreon massively helps me out um, in the future, I think it will, because... That's what I want to do. I want to do this for a living. I want to leave the day job and help you guys get some great content out there that's to do with it all. Extraterrestrials, UFOs, you name it. So, Tony, thank you very much. And I will drink this vodka, Tony, that you bought me at some point. Leonard, I'm going to leave the in the description Leonard's artwork. He's got an amazing Instagram page where he draws dragons, aliens, Bigfoot, you name it. He draws it. So, check it out, guys. So yes, guys, my prediction is that Joe Rogan will interview Lou Elizondo in 2020 on The Joe Rogan Show. I think this will happen, and here's why I think it's going to happen. Because I think there's something kind of to prove now. Um, ever since Tom DeLonge went on there, it was considered a bit of a joke. I think mainly because he showed that fake UFO. And it was a fake UFO. Whether he, he was just showing Joe how this technology works or not, it was a fake UFO. I think it's, it's going to happen as well because if you look at the pattern, you've got Tom DeLonge going on Joe Rogan. Then you've got Bob Lazar and Jeremy Corbell going on Joe Rogan. You've got um, David Fravor and Jeremy Corbell on Joe Rogan and there is a link there with to the Stars Academy because they all travel in the same circle they're all mixed in with the same people and I think if Lou from to the Stars Academy goes on Joe Rogan it may fix what damage happened because Joe kind of, as he said, he thought Tom DeLonge was a joke on on the show. You know, he doesn't, he didn't seem to have much faith in what he's doing, this, that, and the other. Um, I don't know what he. I, I'd be interested to to see what he thinks now. I mean, me and Osvaldo were speaking about this in in the, in the last interview, where he said that you know Tom DeLonge needs an apology from Joe Rogan. I think. I could be wrong here, but I think Lou Elzando, I always say his name wrong, will go on Joe Rogan. That would be interesting, because yes. honestly, dude, like Joe Rogan, Joe I, Rogan picked a really bad time to be kind of a dick. <laughs> kind of, like he, he was addicted to, to Tom DeLonge. Yeah, Tom did. And the next thing you know, like this whole situation with Corbell and... and, and uh, um, Bob Lazar, and now he's back in the game. But like, hey, dude, listen, like, like, you can't blame Joe Rogan for being a dick when Tom DeLonge shows footage of a fake TR3B. There's a blatant fake. 
you, you know? I right, mean, but, but you, you have to understand though, he, he had to have spoken to, um, because Joe, Joe Rogan spent like some time with Bob Lazar. He spent some time with uh, uh, Jeremy Corbell. Um, he had to have said like, you know, Tom DeLong is full of shit. He's batshit crazy. And then they must have told him, well, actually, no. Well, he you said know, that. that, that he, UFO... Yeah, he said that to another guest. I can't remember the guest. It yeah, wasn't. Exactly. Then he doubled down on it, too. It's not just enough <laughs> that he like he was like that to Tom, but then behind his back, but in front of everyone <laughs> on the air. But it's like, yeah, he's batshit crazy. The other guy was like, yeah, totally. And they're both wrong. <laughs> he probably got. Like, honestly, just... he owes Tom DeLong an apology. Now, I don't think Joe Rogan's ever going to apologize to Tom DeLong, and probably he, he probably shouldn't, if in my opinion, because he shouldn't have shown that TR3B and made out that it was real footage. I, I don't know if that's what he was trying to do, whether he was trying... He may have just been saying... This is what some people say, that Tom was just trying to explain this is how they work, and if that's the case, then fur him off. Um... But I do 100% think that both parties, Joe and To The Stars Academy, have thought, let's get Lou Alizando onto the Joe Rogan show. I probably butcher Lou's surname because um, I'm really crap at pronouncing Spanish surnames. My wife's from Ecuador, and the only reason why I married her is because I, I really struggle to pronounce a surname. So, you know, I just pop that question and change the name. I love your wife. If this does happen, these are the questions that I want answering. The main question I want answering is, out of all three pieces of the footage, two of them look like there's bits missing. I think there's certainly more to the gimbal footage. Because that tilt when it tilts, and then it cuts off. I think there's something more to see from that. I want to know where that is. I want to know if to the Stars Academy have it, if they've seen it, and blah, blah, blah. I want to know all that. The Go Fast video as well, that cuts off. I don't understand why, if you're going to show us these videos, why there's just little snippets of these videos. And that's all we're allowed to see. It doesn't make sense to me. I want Joe Rogan to ask the question, are these... Do you believe, Lou, that these are from a different planet? They are not from Earth. You keep saying the aerial threats. Are the aerial threats that are possibly from Earth, from a different country, or whatever? Or are they ET? Give us the answer. Please, for Pete's sake, give us that answer. Tell us your opinion. Never mind we are not a UFO research company. Just tell us, do you think that this is alien? Simple. And when I say alien, I mean alien as in not an illegal alien. Alien as in it is E.T. Yeah. <laughs> Ask about the future of the company. You know, they've got this joint venture with the army now. Um... I want to know where the investor's money is actually going. Uh, is there going to be any more news on this craft in the near future that they're apparently building? All this needs answering. You know, I keep reading little articles here and there that people sent me, seeing videos that people put up, but I want to, I want to see that interview, and I think that is the guy to interview because Lou is very much the spokesman for to the Stars Academy now. You know, Tom doesn't barely says two words, um, so get him on Joe and get those questions asked that we all want to know. Whether you are a fan of TTSA or not, you have to admit this would be an extremely interesting interview to watch. I think it will happen. I have a feeling, I can feel it in my nipples that this is going to happen. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, I was right about all the others. But I could be wrong on this one. But it's 100% being thought about. It's probably being thought about right now. Maybe this video will spur it on. I'll tell you what, share this video out. 
get this video out to Joe Rogan. Joe, this needs to happen. You need to interview Lou Alizando. ASAP, but in 2020, because that's when I said it would be. Yes. Joe, you need to interview. You need to make this interview happen. Make it happen. If you are new to Alien Addict, I thank you for getting this far into the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a video. Hit that bell because you'll be alerted to the video and YouTube's algorithm is not great for me right now. So if you could uh, do that, if you're already a subscriber, hit the bell. That way you don't miss the video. And then you can put first in the comment section. You know, a lot of people like to do that first. Um, yeah. The main thing, if you want to help me out with the channel, is to share the content. That is the thing that gets this channel out there the most. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you're a YouTuber, you feel free to mention and put clips in a video. I don't give a monkeys. I don't know why other YouTubers care about stuff like that and they copyright strike you, the bastards. Um, but yeah, get it shared out. I want it. I want this. I want Alien on it to go out like a plague. Um, and if you want, you can become a Patreon. I do put little art, bits of my artwork on there, uh, cuts of videos, sneak peeks, this, that, and the other. I'm wanting to do more on there. Um, but yeah, that would be great if you could be, if you are a big fan of the channel, then consider becoming a patron. It really helps me out. And one day it might get me out of doing the day job and I can just sit at home and do this. Um, but I'll probably get my own little YouTube room rather than in the living room i used to have a youtube room but uh, the children they took it off me so but that's life anyway folks i'm alien addict good night god bless mind the bugs don't bite you've been delicious